Let's make it work for you. Look, I'm, I'm down, girl. Look, look, where are you? I'm closer than you think. Is this you at the door? I'm pregnant. Who is that? I'd kiss you on the mouth so you could taste yourself? Wow. Scandal. We open the show up with President Fish trying to get a booty call. That boy's like, so what's, so what's hope? What's, what's that mean? What does that mean? Is there hope? What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean? This dude is so thirsty, y'all. Guess who overheard him? Melly. He backtracking. Oh, I ain't never gonna talk to this girl again. Lies you tell, man. Lies you tell. We go to Quinn, man. Quinn confronted some dude about who's been following Olivia. I'm thinking he finna shoot her or whatever. He pulled out and straight pow right in his head. When I seen that, I was like, ooh. You know he did. This isn't in any kind of order at all, but I don't really care. Abby, thank you for giving her a storyline, Shonda. At first, I was like, oh, that's her, that's her ex. I thought it would be like one of them Caroline in the City type deals. Oh, it's my ex, but we didn't work out, and now we're going to kind of fuck back with each other. No, this dude used to beat on her. Hello, Medea? Yeah, he was hitting on her. Uh-huh. I'm on my way right now. Get the grits and frying pan and all that. I'm on my way. I'm very happy Olivia and Abby back together though. Like when when Olivia brought them brought them dresses to her, whatever, because she threw up on herself, whatever. She was like, "Did you bring me one dress?" She was like, "No, girl. I brought you two. A color purple moment, y'all. Beautiful. One part that I did think was like, ah, eh, was when Abby said, "You don't understand this, this, we, this, this, blah, blah, blah. And I, and like she's telling Olivia this like this is the worst thing in the world that Olivia's ever heard. You know her dad had her boyfriend's son killed? Scandal. What I love though was how Olivia looked at her and said, what do you want? Ooh, when Olivia says that, what do you want? Something's gonna go down. Cause as soon as she said that, you heard one of them old 70 beats drop, that's when you know something's gonna happen. And she turned it around. She turned it around in the other person's favor. She turned it around and around and around and then she ended up costing old boy that election. Like she went to work. Do this, do that. You're ugly in the face, we gotta fix that. You're blinking too much. Call the little girl in. That was brilliant. That was <clears throat> Olivia Pope, man. Go carry Washington, man. Real talk, y'all, I'm gonna put this on a meme. Olivia Pope is Beyonce if she went to law school. And she woke up like that, y'all. She woke up like that. When Olivia met with Tom, this boy here, who knew this dude could go into monologue mode so well? That boy said, Olivia Pope, you're beautiful. The face that launched a thousand ships. This dude's so deep. Oh, so, so, so you majored in, in history and philosophy back in college. Okay. I thought you were just a killer, but okay, I guess. Anyway. Ooh, but when Abby reunited with her ex-husband in that uh, little parking lot area, I thought she was scared or whatever. I thought she was finna go in there and get one of them uh, Wendy's grill wrap things and try to negotiate something or whatever. When she went into that car and pulled out that Beretta, that Beretta, let that boy know I will shoot you in the face and I'll tell you exactly how it's going to play out. And the look in her eyes was she was finna shoot that dude. Straight up. Go Abby. Go Abby. As I watched President Fitz and Olivia have phone relations, I was just like, wow, she... I do this, and I do that. And then I'd kiss you on the mouth, so you could taste yourself. Uh, you better keep that to yourself, brother. Was it just me, or when Olivia met with her dad, and then when she walked out from her dad, and her dad said, you don't disrespect me, ever. Then you feel like, ooh, just a little bit though. Even though she's grown up, because the way, she, way he said it, it took me back to when, don't you ever, but I won't get into that part, but it reminded me of that. Anyway, is Abby dating that other guy anymore? What's his name, David? Because she straight just kissed this other dude, though. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that, though. I really don't remember, because I wasn't keeping up with it that much. Because y'all let me know, are they still dating? Did, he, did she just cheat on her man or not? Nah? Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Pope just proved to me that the devil can not only wear Gucci loafers, can also wear Prada pumps. Because those, man, Prada pumps. 
or their uh the shoes from Target. I think they're called uh Murado, Murados. Hey, shout out to Target though, man. I be getting my gear from who? Hey, who gets their gear from Target though? I know that's random, but if you get your gear from Target, like I get my gear from Target as well, man. Let me know in the comments below, man. Target, Ross, Marshalls, all them places. Olivia had that dude stabbed and got that dude to talk because she knew that dude was lying. And now we are left with a face off. Jake is free, stuck in the room with Olivia and Fitz. Now, to me, the first thing I thought about was the fact that, yo, both these dudes hit that. That'd be the first thing I'd bring up, man. Now that they're in a room together, like I predicted, go back to my other videos and, and see this, like I predicted, go in the room, flat out ask her, who thing is bigger? Who's better? Whoever is bigger and better, they stay. Whoever is not bigger and better, banish to the Phantom Zone forever. And that'll be the end of it. I'm definitely looking forward to watching next week's episode. This one, like, picked up pretty good, too. Ooh, before I forget, Huck. Huck, son, tracked him down, y'all. What do y'all think is going to happen with that? Let me know what y'all think is going to happen with Huck, too, and the rest of the series and all that, man. My name is Shinadu, C-H-I-N-D-U. Please hit that like button down there. Let's go over here, right here. Please hit the share button. Leave me some comments, too. I'll reply to all of my comments. Also, I want to shout out and thank the following people that left comments on my last scandal review video. This is Carolyn Wheatley, Emil Jew, Madeline Jones, This PW, they believe I already said Carolyn Wheatley already, Evelyn Alvarado, One For All, Alex89, Bree Day, Glenda Wyndham, Jalicia Lewis, and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys very much for your comments. If you leave a comment on my videos, I will shout you out in the next video. As always, my name is Shinedu, C-H-I-N-E-D-U, and this is PSA Radio. Thank you for your time.